What's up, everybody? Welcome up, back to Super Saturdays. Welcome this back. will be Samurai Showdown Top Four. I'm Dynamite, joined by Jolly Phobic. How's nice it going? Nice to meet you guys. Um, we are going to get it going. We're yes. deciding to do top fours because, as everyone should know by now, we're running nine games here, mm -hmm. so we got a lot nine to do. Games. Yeah, That's crazy. That is man. absolutely insane. Uh, and this will be the Samurai Showdown Top Four, as I said before. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we have last month's winner, Brightside, playing Nakaru. Yes. And uh, Yagyu Jubei Extraordinaire, Wish Punish. Wish Punish, yes. Wish Punish has definitely been uh, making a tear with uh, Ignite on Monday. Uh, he's definitely played a lot of Jubei. He's kind of switched from y Yoshitora, who he was playing before. Yep. Um, and with the patch, I mean, Yoshitora did get, did, did get uh, tuned down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, a little. Just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to make people just switch off the character yeah. immediately. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jubei, really good right now. A lot Absolutely. of characters did get away scot-free. Um, and we're going to see uh, Nakaruru, who yeah. is definitely better post-patch. I mean, she's, she had at least 15 changes. Yeah. <laughs> so she's she had, like, good. almost a full page of changes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so we're going to get into it. Let's game get into one. it. Oh, running out right to try and get that grab. Definitely a, definitely a unique way to start the round. It's, it is a unique way, but it's, you know, you want to try to establish mm -hmm. some pressure on Nakaru so she yes. can't just command the match yes. right from the beginning. One thing with Nakaru, you definitely want to... Like assert your pressure yes. before she gets any chance to do it to you. Yeah. Definitely. Right now. Oh. Throwing out that kick there. Oh. Fireball just hitting her as she's trying to get in. Okay, which one is deciding to stay back for a little bit? Does run yeah. up, get the dash. I think that's a good, uh, good idea, especially throwing out fireball to Jubei. Absolutely. But right side. a bad fireball. Yeah. Jumping right over it. Jump in pressure, nice Ooh, throw nice there. Grab. Carrying you right to the corner, and you know, this is just Nakaru's game. Absolutely. One thing I do want to see is if Wish Punish incorporates the standing dodge now to get away from grab. It has been improved. Yes, that definitely got a lot better, and you see a lot of people playing in, and using that a lot more. Oh, oh my nice god. Nice back dash back on dash. the WFT. It gets the punish for Just the out of range for Nakaru to hit you. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, jump back punish. God. Okay. He definitely wants to stay full screen, like we said, and just kind of throw these fireballs out. But right side has been jumping over a lot of these fireballs, and a really bad one it just means you're in the corner. Yeah, absolutely. And and Jubei's uh, standing C is actually pretty good for those Nakaru jumps. It can kind of clip her right out of the air. But Wish Punish does decide yeah. to back off once that Eason goes. Oh, God. Yeah, that burst from right side. I think he kind of... Whoa. I think that was a harrowing situation. Yeah. He definitely wanted the round, so it did mean he has to spend the burst. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, which one is going to take this first game here? Pretty convincing, too. Yeah, it was uh, a <laughs> pretty strong win there for game one. I yeah. do think that, um, you know, he did try early on to assert some pressure, and then mm -hmm. he decided to go the other route, which Jubei has the benefit of being able to do, right? Yes, absolutely. Establish a fireball game yeah. and then focus on just whiff punishing what he can. And I think, you know, being able to kind of have that spacing with Jubei, especially against a character like Nakaruru, especially now that she's getting a lot better and you'll see a lot more of her, I think that's definitely what you need to start with. Absolutely. All right, nice, nice wake-up throw. That means you're in the corner, too. Absolutely. What's going to be the pressure here? So has to go for the okay, low. Nice sweet. kick. Waking up, just neutral waking up. This is interesting decision, yeah, rolling it out. He tried to yeah. catch the forward tech, but he just did. a little off yeah. on the timing. He did call it, but, you know, like you said, a little off on the timing. And now Nakaru has you in the corner. It's just somewhere you oh. never want to be. That's such a great counter back, the dash that she does. Interesting jump from Wish Punish there. All right, gets the just defend. Wish Punish gets the jump great in. Great jump over from the bird. Oh, blocked it there, too. Just defend. My bright side. Oh sitting on Rage. God, yeah. yeah. I was just going to say sitting on Rage, next hit will probably yeah. kill. That's what you see. Uh, you'll see Wish Punish do that quite a bit. Uh, he wants to, like, run up. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. That is definitely one of the uh, buffs. The buffs that she got, right? Yeah. And also a thing about Jubei that I don't think is as good, right? His weapon flipping takes yeah. a little bit to start up. It does. And if you have a faster weapon flipping, you're definitely going to catch him before he starts Absolutely. And Nakaru is uh, one of the fastest. So, yes, you know. she's extremely fast. Ooh. All right. Weaponless right now is yeah, Wish Punish. This is a, a pretty harrowing situation for Jubei. 
I mean, if I'm Nakaruru, right, I will literally sit myself in the corner yeah, and well, yeah, just at, like she's doing like he's, right now. Yeah, right? absolutely. Brightside knows that Jubei can't get his weapon back no. at all. Yeah. Unless she goes all the way to the other side of the screen. Yeah. So, and without your weapon, you take advanced chip, right? Yes. So it's just. You take a lot of chip. Um, and it's just. Yeah, you're really going to have to use all the buttons without your weapon at all. Yeah. Um, but it seems like Wish Punish. I mean, yeah, forcing? this is. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, I he did about as well as you could possibly imagine yes. outside of winning the round, Definitely right? Definitely like, impressive with how he tried to get that back, but it just seems like uh, Brightside pulled that out. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, they go did, No, they, they did change weapon flip now so that mm -hmm. when you lose your weapon, it does yes. land closer to you more yes. consistently. And I think that is a quality of life change. I Absolutely. Think, um, Pre-patch, it was a little ambiguous where your weapon was going to end up, yeah. and now every single time you get hit by weapon flipping, it's going to land right as you land. Exactly, and that gives you the opportunity to just defend and then stance break, Absolutely. and that gives you a free chance to pick up your weapon. Oh, yes. All right, we well, are in okay. the game three. Game three, winner's final. This um, is going to be a best of five, too. Yes, absolutely. Another wake-up throw gives Wish Punish right. the corner. Yeah, no really, no real punish on that little dash he does, especially with the light version of it. Yeah. Back in the corner again. Jump over. Nice. That was really, really nice. That was definitely a read. He's getting yeah. used to the fireball Not game gonna here. kill yet, but yeah, that kick is really gonna take it. You see Wish Punish in the corner quite a bit, and yeah. that's really not going well for him at all. No, it's not. Yeah, dashing up. He he realizes that Nako is annoying. Oh, yeah. He really, really does not want her to start at all. <gasps> oh, starts up. Mama Hama mm -hmm. interrupts. Yeah, that's it again. His startup is just a little too much compared to a lot of other weapon flipping techniques. Absolutely. That was good in the corner, but not enough position to run up and really get a lot of pressure. Uh, he does have rage. Just went away, but anti-air. No. no, just out of range. Oh, nice grab. Dash up. Nice yep. knockdown situation. Almost in the corner. Ooh, the overhead. Mm, yeah, nice rollout. Mm -hmm. And right. now, Nako has situation. you in the corner once yeah. in. Yeah. He does wake up buttons. It's interesting to see because Wish Punish really just does love jumping in the corner. That and was a great neutral <laughs> jump, though. Yeah, as, as you were I saying. As I was it. saying, <laughs> he jumps and had a fantastic neutral jump. Yeah. It's a strong answer to a lot of things that Nakaru wants to do to you on Oki, aside mm -hmm. from Mama Haha, right? Yeah. So, if you try to neutral jump over Mama Haha, ha, you're just going to get hit. Absolutely. Um, so it, it's just kind of finding ways around her fireballs and definitely finding way around her other fireball, which is Mama Haha. Ha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he tried to carry him to the corner, but that forward roll really got him out of a lot of pressure. Yeah, and one of the things that you see is that Mama Haha ha gives Nakaru a knockdown, whereas yes. Jubei's fireballs don't do that. That's so. a really, really good difference between these two characters. There it is right exactly, there. Exactly, like we said. If your fireballs are trading, Nakaru is at an advantage. And wow, that weapon Punish on the recoil. Yeah, yeah, that was great. So fast. God, so fast. Picks he up really the went for the, the pickup, but yeah, I. He had to. If he hits him with Isen right now, he's, he's dead. gonna kill. Yeah. Yes. Uh, weapon. No, Yo, he saved the no, weapon flip, but he goes for the it. DP and. Yeah. So I agree with the first yeah. part, right? Like he yes. got the throw, expected the burst to happen, yes. right? Then he went for the meaty big DP and... Yeah, I feel like you're definitely committing to that too. Yeah. And I think he committed a little too much and yeah. he overextended and that was definitely going to kill. Um, yeah. But he did have a chance to come back uh, in yeah. a lot of games where you have that significant life life kind yes. of difference. Yes. Um, there's not the biggest chance to come back, but with Samurai Showdown, you do have mm -hmm. chances to deal a lot of damage. You do, you do. A couple of right reads can put you right back in the, oh, in yes. the game. Oh, yes. Getting into the fourth game here, and this is a this is going to be match point for Brightside, carrying him right to the corner once again. Interesting to see him back off, um, but I think it might be to call out those fireballs and jump over them at the right times. I'm thinking that's what he's looking for as yeah. well. But Brightside is definitely putting his foot on the accelerator right oh, now. Yeah, not the biggest punish on that with grab too. Oh, oh nice grab! Four throw will yeah. get the corner. Corner pressure here for Jube. No. Back dash. Yeah. Yeah, just a neutral wake up for bright side. Now we're going yeah. back to neutral here. Yeah, that that run kick is real good for Nako. Extra good. Another see, knockdown. Yeah, you see that fireball trading once again, and Nakaru is just having that advantage. Yeah, bright side will take that trade every day yeah, of the week, but. Oh my god. 
another instance where the weapon flipping is just too slow on startup yeah. to punish that. Yeah. It's uh it's a rough scenario when you're especially when you're used to a run up, weapon flip, interrupt it. Oh Mama Haha -ha says no. It happened again. Not to my sweet precious girl uh. you will. <laughs> Alright, nice okay. punish. Just run C on that punish. Wake up weapon flip a and erupt. It, I mean you can't block he immediately can't when you're all. dashing and no. Oh! Wow. Uh, interesting try for the call out? Yeah. Um, but, but without your weapon, low. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, no combo to get in the corner. Yeah, and it's just a bad placement from that, uh, that crouch C. Yeah. 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 So the, the SSM was an attempt to kind of, you know, yes. call him out big time, <laughs> but <laughs> it didn't work. However, it did not work. He still gets uh, the win. Yeah. Uh, bright side showing Nakaru's strength. Yeah. I mean, we did see uh, Wish Punish do really well in that first game. Yeah. And I think uh, Bright Side kind of told himself that he needs to kind of make those adjustments. And I think he really made those adjustments. He definitely really well. did. Just I mean, three straight games. After game two, he was like, "Okay, this is the stuff I need to change." Yeah. Yeah. Notice that he started to do neutral wake up more, even yes. when Wish Punish would backdash, yes. expecting the wake up throw, and mm -hmm. nothing would come out. Nothing would come out. Yeah. And I think in the opposite situation, when Wish Punish was in the corner, um, he would just neutral jump a lot of the time. Yep. And you see a little bit uh, of Bright Side trying to like call them out a little bit, yeah. more, right? Yeah. Um, and that might would have been what the SSM was about too. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think the SSM was. Uh, an attempt to call out that neutral jump, but he did wake up with a button yeah. and it caught him right before it started up. And, yeah. You know, yeah. But uh, Bryce is going to take it, and now yeah. we're going to move on to a uh, loser's final. It should uh, be lo losers semis. Losers. Losers semis. Uh, Wish one is sitting in losers finals right now. Yep. Um, it will be losers semis. It will be. Uh, uh, and the. Uh, winner of Dr. Soul versus Hologram Mike Dr. Ross. Dr. Soul? Yeah. Hologram Mike Ross. What <laughs> yeah. a name. What a name. Yeah, so um, I know for sure that Hologram Mike Ross plays Hanzo. Yes, um, and uh, Dr. Soul does play Galford. Okay. Um, he. Ooh, Galford. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what a tough break for <laughs> Galford players. That is a rough I'm, scenario. I'm so sorry for you guys. But, uh, you know, he still can play his zoning Absolutely. game. Absolutely. He still uh, can have those high low mix ups with Poppy and especially yep. with the teleport, but. Um, I think it's going to be just a little bit of a, a struggle with yeah. Galford. For now. Compared to pre-patch. Yeah. Alright, okay. we're going to run some slides real quick just to get you guys uh, aware of all the things that are going on in yeah. the Midwest FGC. Absolutely. I mean, Lokek is doing some fantastic stuff. Yep. Just yeah. as fantastic as Popcorn Bear and Gekio. Every, oh look, if God. you've been the combo breaker, you know about, the you know popcorn, about bear. popcorn Bear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we do want to make sure that you guys subscribe and, you know, check us out on Twitch.tv and on YouTube, Low Kick Tournaments. Uh, we sponsor things like Super Saturdays. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Goose Island events on Wednesdays. Yes, so come on and check Wednesdays. us out. And the CIFGC, we're doing Downtown Beatdown uh, every Saturday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, shout out uh, to those guys. Champagne, Illinois. Yeah, if yeah. you can't come out to uh, the Chicago locals, you can definitely come out to the Champagne. Uh, uh, locals as well. 100%. And speaking of coming out, Goose Island Brew House. Uh, yes. Every other Wednesday, uh, this one coming up August 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. a good time. There's it a is. lot of casuals going it on. It is. A lot of casuals. Uh, definitely a great venue, too. I mean, yes. Goose Island's a great brewery and yeah. offering us a place to have some casuals. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Uh, and this recently started up NIU Esports. Yes. Fighting yeah. Game Fridays. I've seen these guys put in a lot of work, and I'm yeah. glad. I'm yeah, very yeah. Glad. So uh, I think they had either the first or second one this last Friday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it went well. It went well. Nice. Well, Fighting Game works every Tuesday you guys can come up and have some casuals we have all kinds of oh, yeah. you know all kinds of games you can even go and play some arcade games if yeah. you want but yeah. yeah every single Tuesday we have people uh, playing any game you can take us and Galloping Ghost Arcade, Galloping Ghost, uh, yes. Mortal Kombat 11 obviously the, the, the Galloping thing there. Ghost yeah yeah um, they run Brackets every Thursday, uh, mm -hmm. five dollar entry fee, and uh, it's a good time. Like really, those guys that yeah. that show up there, they love Mortal Kombat. Yes, so. if you play Mortal Kombat, then that's definitely the uh, place to go to. And the place to go to on Mondays, oh yeah, is Ignite Gaming Lounge off of Elston. Uh, every single week we have a tournament, um, but the tournaments are bi-weekly. So yeah. Street Fighter Five is on one week, another tournament is going to be on another week. Absolutely, yeah. So we're going to get the uh, match for you guys. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys. 
Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. We are here at GameWorks for Super Saturday's top yeah. four of Sam Show. Low Kick Esports. We're going to get some Holding matches down. for you, losers finals. We're waiting on one person. I'm not going to say who it is, Hologram Mike Ross. But we are here to <laughs> talk to you guys just really quickly about um, the uh, ability and the availability yes. of doing some commentary work. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely put on a production uh, on a monthly basis now, and yes. every month we do reach out for commentators. So uh, if you guys want to get some opportunities mm -hmm. to commentate, and no matter, we run nine games, so yeah. it's gotta be something yeah. you like. If you really enjoy a game and you really are invested in a game, absolutely apply for commentary. Absolutely. Uh, I was fantastically lucky, <laughs> lucky to do so for uh, Samurai Showdown, because uh, I love that game and it's uh, fantastic. And awesome. yeah. If you love a game too, and you really want to commentate, all you got to do is just apply. Yeah, just put in the application. We um, definitely do our best uh, to review them. Uh, and if people ask for feedback, we give that as yeah, well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Like, and that's one of the biggest things is that, you know, you might not be nervous about like, hey, I don't, you know, know how I sound or things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Always ask for feedback. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Uh, there are people who are definitely going to give you feedback and sure. it's going to be constructive. And we just yeah. want you to grow as well as have the community grow as well. And sure. it's just going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. For sure. All right, I hear the clicking, yeah, I so the I clicking. know. <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> we're ready to go. This will be Hologram Mike Ross uh, versus, hmm. I want to say ASK. If this ASK? Is yes, ASK. ASK. Yeah. Okay, so it, it's not going to be Dr. Soul. The, that was the last match. That was the last match. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know ASK. I don't know him either. I don't think I've seen him. Um, I'm expecting Hanzo from Hologram mm -hmm. Mike Ross. Ooh. And we will see who Hanzo, ASK. Okay. Hanzo's interesting. He used to be the worst of the two ninjas. Yes. And a lot of people just didn't want to pick him up. Yeah. Um, he had some stuff with teleports and everything. Yep. But in the end of it, if you really wanted to play a ninja, you would play. Most likely you, you would, would play, play Galford. Uh, Galford, um, yeah. Unless you were just like a Hanzo fan. Or yes, something. unless you just which, really like Hanzo. I mean. Which is a reason. I mean, yes. it's a I mean, oh. look at the character. Yeah, he's sick. He's so sick. Yeah, yeah. Tam Tam. All right, this will be uh, an interesting matchup. Tam Tam absolutely still I was just going to say, yep. because ground fire actually can give Hanzo some room to work. Nice yeah, jump over. great jump. Oh my god. Yeah, Tam Tam is definitely a character that is still in the top tier. He was really good post patch, and now he's just... Uh, Genjiro is not a thing anymore. Yep. <laughs> Yoshi is not really a thing anymore. So now he's definitely going to shine. Uh, we saw him a lot, and... It's good to see a little more. Not really good to see a little more, because I don't like him. <laughs> he had to immediately cancel. Like, to, you know what? I'm lying. <laughs> I hate this character. This just Get sucks. him out of my face. I don't want to see this character. Actually, right. yes, I don't want to see this character. Well, but <laughs> Mike Ross, not impressed by Tam Tam or scared of also him. Also doesn't like Tam Tam yeah. either, so he's going to take that round. Just, just the Tam Tam tax, apparently. Oh, yeah. Can't really neutral jump over Tam Tam's fireball. No. Um, it's really just going to get you caught. Ooh, nice teleport from Hanzo there. Yep. And Neutral teleport. ASK is in. Oh, Gets the man. munch Gets on the him. Command grab. Now in the corner as well. Oh. Yeah, you just really can neutral jump. Yeah, and it's Mike just Ross to jump likes back. to. He really likes the neutral yes. jump with Hanzo. Okay. And I can't blame him, um, but it's going to be rough with Tam Tam's fireball. Yeah. He nice does overhead. have corner pressure right now, ground fire. Yeah, the overhead was really good pressure. That fireball as well, going low. Just little taps here and there, but death by a thousand cuts is definitely a thing. Yeah, especially in this game. It can happen because it'll set you up for stuff like that. Neutral yeah. jump C. Neutral jump C. Oh, he threw the fireball out. You heard it. Yeah. You heard the fireball come out yeah. from Hanzo, and, you know, that weapon pulling is just going to yeah. catch him. Yeah. Especially since Tam Tam jumps for his, like, yes. it's the ultimate It's answer. also part of his entire gameplay <laughs> is just to <laughs> yeah. jump. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh anti -air. nice anti-air. Is that going to catch you? Yeah. Oh, Fantastic that's right. Fantastic weapon flipping. I yeah. forgot. Oh, oh he tried to God, make him pay big. That would have been big. amazing. Yeah, he was just the maybe on a the couple picking frames up the weapon off. just late enough. Cross okay, up. Okay, crosses up. Now back in the... Uh-oh. Nice Blocks block. in time. And he had all day. He had all day to do super special move, too. He already used it. Oh, he are, oh my yeah. God. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Use Neutral e jump C. Too, yeah. This what's the setup? Used E send bad jump. Oh, oh my no. god. And you know what? What hurts is that he 
didn't use Rage Burst. Yeah, yeah. A and bit of a had, scramble situation there. Yeah, he had every opportunity to Rage Burst there. Yeah. And your opponent already used it, so yeah. you definitely would have had the advantage. Yeah. Scenario. I mean, when you spend your resources, you spend your resources. Yeah, 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 you do yeah. not get Rage in the second round if you Rage in first round. Exactly, exactly. If you Rage Burst. Yeah. That's it. But like you said, scramble scenario, so, yeah. you know. I mean, that's sometimes what happens, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Game two here, starting yeah. off well for Hockey ASK. Again. Yeah. And that that Tam Tam jump back C is just like. Yeah. What Trade on the do? fireball. Interesting. Both knocked down, but you know, a little bit less damage from Hanzo's fireball. Ooh, nice dash K. The jump Tatsu back. Tatsu. Oh God. <laughs> I can hear. <laughs> I can hear how much you dislike Tam Tam. God, this <laughs> character. The description. Put him into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike Ross oh. certainly not trying to go to sleep right no, now. It's still early in the not. day. Yeah. Let's get the tick set up. Nice command grab. Yeah, with uh, with Tam Tam, he can mix up the skull throws, yep. which is fireball. He can go high and low and high, or oh. high, high, high. Um, so it's weird to... That try to work. catch him. Yeah, just out of range. Ooh, that punish. Oh, Yo, my God. Into super special to finish it. He threw a fireball. <laughs> Wow. He ended the, that's kind of disrespectful. Yeah. That's yeah. That's disrespectful. That's rough. That's yeah. rough. Significant life lead. He didn't even need he to kill him. He didn't need to do that. He didn't need to kill no. him with super special move, but it doesn't anyway. Why not? Um yeah, Tam Tam super special move, it goes right over fireballs, yep. right? Yep. So and Hanzo's over, only fireball oh is God. the ground version. And it's like so super so slow yeah. too. Yeah. But yeah, I mean uh, I, it, I saw this video recently, uh he can't go full screen with it. Yeah. Which is weird, yeah. Um, because with like Shiki, for example, right? She kind of has, a, she has a tracking super special. Move, yes, absolutely. Which means that if you're throwing a fireball and even oh, if you're trust full me, screen, I play Halmaru. It's gonna kill. I've tried to do <laughs> heavy tornado, yeah. and gotten super special yeah. after, sh and it was on, it was on Oki. So I was trying to just set up a block so <laughs> I could run in. She yeah. wakes up and then you hear boom, just and it's like, well, up, I guess the I whole just thing lose. Slows yep. down, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Oh, well, man. it's gonna go into losers finals. Yeah, uh, and it's gonna be uh, SK. SK versus Wish Punish. Yep, yep. Yeah. So this will be Juge Bay Tam versus Tam Tam. Oh my god, I have top to see more of this character. Battles. I'm so upset. <laughs> the top tier battles. Yeah, um, I, I would very much say that Juve is in a very good spot right now. Yeah, and I would say he's part of the the top tier characters. Absolutely, especially post patch. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, he has a. Much easier time yes. with Tam Tam than Hanzo does. Yes, absolutely. So okay. we're going to get that match to you guys soon. Pretty soon. Um, Wish Punish uh, uh, is in, in Street, Street Fighter, Fighter Five, yeah. so mm -hmm. uh, we're going to wait for that to roll around. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to take mm -hmm. a short break and then take a short break. Yeah, we'll be back. So you guys stay tuned. Back with more Samurai Showdown. Yeah, more Samurai Showdown. Okay, welcome back, guys, to back. Super Saturdays Samurai Showdown Top Four. Uh, we course. we promised that there's a match coming. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we took a little break. Yep. Got some people who were playing other games, and yeah. now uh, we're gonna hop right back into it. Yeah. Uh, Wish punish. Jubei. Yep. Jubei. Yep. Uh, Ask. Ask. <laughs> Tam Tam. Tam Tam. Hate this character. Well, yeah. <laughs> that has remained the same since the break. Yes, that has remained the same, and has remained the same ever since this game came out. Fair enough. <laughs> That's actually fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this is losers finals. It'll yeah. be first to five. First to five. Or first uh, to three. Sorry. Best First three out of Oh, five. yes, yeah. The yeah. Other one. First Sometimes it gets confusing. Woo! Yeah. That First would be five. a heck of a match. What a match. It would be a pretty long. Yeah. Let's get right into it. All right, game one. Uh, I think. There it yeah. is. Oh, no. Oh, but delayed up, input or? Uh, I think he messed up with the, the cancel. Uh, uh, I tried okay. to cancel from, I think, uh, Sam B. Yeah. yeah. It'll happen. Yeah. It'll happen. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> countered! <laughs> Look people at the 30%! For <laughs> people forget, but people that's forget. one of the things the character does. And I think seeing Wish Punish do that more, I think he probably should start doing it a little more. But at the perfect time, yes. right? Yes. Um, if you commit to it, then that's a definite punish from the yeah. other person. Lock on the Tatsu, that's gonna be it for Wish Punish. He Tatsu from out. downtown. He was he on the full way. Screen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he was on the way. He actually did that. Yeah, he got the Uber Eats <laughs> order and he was about to deliver. <laughs> You're right here. Your food here. <laughs> <laughs> Take 
Okay, jump B. <laughs> Is that gonna catch? This is a catch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very floaty jump from uh, Tam Tam yep. means that it's gonna catch him. And now... Uh, now we gotta fight to get yeah, your weapon Jube, back. Jube is just gonna sit right by your weapon. Unless you... Okay. Do not let him pick up this weapon. Uh, he's That's doing his best not to. Yeah. Nice over universal uh, overhead does knock down for Jubei. So. I, I do think Wish Punch is standing by the weapon a little too much. Um, you can definitely dash up and try to get it off screen Absolutely. like we saw before. Absolutely. Um, but but he's comfortable here. Yeah. His fireball game is pushing him off the screen a little and bit. And doing crazy chip because he has yeah. Tam has no weapon. Yeah. yeah he's ASK is really going for that weapon. I, I think he does need to kind of figure out that you're not getting this back. Yeah. I mean, he's in a really rough situation yes. here. Uh, unless he can knock. Oh, wow. no, that's going to be it. Yeah. Saw the floaty jump. And yeah, I, I think that was the optimal punish, right? Absolutely. So yeah. he went right into rage, went right he went yeah. right into burst, right? Yeah. And then he went right into weapon flip. Because at that point, like, after you burst, you have weapon flip available. Yeah. What's Tam Tam going to do without what is a sword? He gonna do? And I mean, he's just go taking so long yeah. to jump yep. over. Yep. And that just means... If he doesn't have his weapon, you can just DP, yep. you can do pretty much anything. Probably go for a weapon flip. Going right back in again. I mean, Wish Punish, he kind of knows that his offensive style is getting in ASK's face quite a bit. Uh, and now it's just how he's going to make that adjustment against the Jube. And there's the uh, actual B before yeah. doing the DP. Does yeah. get some corner pressures. Nice jump over. Yeah, that jump is great. Oh. I mean, that's an instant overhead, right? Yep. Yep. So I think I want to see ASK doing that a little more often. Yeah. Nice dash, but gonna that toss punished. is going to be punished. Ugh. Big time. Crowd C. Wake up, Wake weapon up with it? Really? Yeah, not Biden, though. And no. I mean, after that move is blocked, <laughs> you can literally go play another match in Street you can Fighter go order and come food back. And yeah. then come back. <laughs> yeah. And then you can punish it. Yeah, you still can punish. <laughs> this is rough. This is looking really rough for ASK right now. It'll be interesting interesting to see how he adjusts. Okay. I like, the weapon flip. I like this. I like it too. Um, but I think which punish is. There never mind. Is. Yeah, there it is. That's kind of his version of yeah. uh, Halmaro's A. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His run A. But oh, this is going to punish. Oh, no. Oh, he landed. Yeah. Now he's just going to throw that out. Yeah. Ooh. Got caught with it, though. Another full screen Tatsu. Interesting choices. Yeah, that's gonna be punishable. Uh, I think that was Crouch C on the block. Yes. Yeah, very punishable. Speaking of punishes, there's yeah. a Stan C. Uh, grab. He had yeah, to. he had to. I mean, he's not gonna have resources for the rest of the round. Stop jumping! Ooh, he I thought he was gonna ease in right there. Okay, Stop ASK. jumping, stop jumping. Trying to bait another <gasps> jump. Got him oh my on the God. run up. He knew that Wish Punch was going to go for the run grab. Yeah. Oh, that was actually really good. Yeah, that, that was, was really, really excellent. good. Excellent. That was excellent. Wish Punish has shown run up throw yes. a couple of times. I think Wish Punish kind of got a little maybe nervous in that situation. He was doing a lot of jumps, which, I mean, come on. If your opponent is in burst, do not jump. You're, yeah, you're, you're asking for you're it. You're asking to be dead. Yeah. You're asking to yeah. lose 50% so, of your life. You're just like, here's the round. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> okay. Nice little two-piece there. Going right into it. Oh, uh, yeah, that trade is going to be in Tam Tam's favor. Every but day. Jube wow, went been, for the like, weapon lead. flip, Stancy punish, did not finish. Interesting to go into weapon flip. Was that a miss? Uh, it might have been a miss input? input, but I thought that Stan B into the heavy DP would finish. Yeah, for sure. I thought it would finish too, but just enough life to just kind of give him a little bit to recover. But uh, Either way, I mean, yeah, game two punish, goes to Wish Punish. Wish Punish one game away from uh, going back to Grand Finals. Yeah. Or going back to Winter's Grand. Yeah, yeah gets the, another shot at that uh, Nakaru. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think definitely need to see some adjustments from ASK. Yes. Uh, especially with the offensive kind of in your face that Wish Punish does like to play from time. Yeah, he yeah. hasn't been able to wall out Wish Punish no, at all. Not at all. Okay, Trey, okay. that's going to be in Tam Tam's favor, yeah. Yep. Especially if he jumps these. Yeah, see there with Tam Tam, you, throw, you can throw fireballs low and then you can throw them high as yep. well. Um, it's like with Zoo. There's another run up throw, and he hasn't yeah. really been stuffing that no. outside of that one WFT. No, and I think uh, a ASK asked. Ooh. Oh my god, the panic burst. I can't believe you jumped at him. Look at all that life gone. He can still come back. He can, yes. But he needs to decide if he's going to rage burst or not. Yes. Uh, but that means 
he is out of full rage. Yes. Uh, so his e send is not going to do as much. Yes. If he did decide to go to the That's e true. That uh, but true. that means both of them would run out of resources. All right. Why? Wow, another one. And he's going for the Hail Marys and they're yeah, not working. That's not a misinput. That's a Hail Mary. Yeah. 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 Um, yes. Interesting to see. I mean, Tam Tam has no resources now. Right. He lost his rage. Uh, he also lost his super special move. And both of those do really big damage. Yeah. Um, and I think being able to keep Wish Punish out is the game plan from here on out. Throwing fireballs in the neutral. Catching them with the little pokes, yeah. Yeah. And Wish Punish, without being able to burst, does give ASK a chance yes. to capitalize. Whereas before, Wish Punish was holding his burst until the end of the game. Yeah. Tam Tam nearly with full rage. And ASK needs to be careful with those deflect whiffs because yeah. it is a counter hit state now it is. on Wish Punish. It is, yes. Um, and if uh, Wish Punish is good with deflecting, then a lot of those pokes can just turn into big damage. Long. Nice command but grab on Wake Up. Command grab on Wake Up. Uh, and it seems like we're going to the last round here. Um, yeah, ASK full rage here. Yeah, full rage. Oh. And no punish no on the neutral throw. Yeah, no anti air. I mean, that's what Wish Punish does like to do. He does like to neutral yeah. jump. Oh, that back got caught by the fireball. I'm not sure if ASK is picking up on the neutral jumps, but right now oh he is getting God. torn up in the corner. Look at all that damage. Gone. Nice little throw. Yeah. Uh. Close fireball. Really good anti air or air to air from Wish Punish. Oh man, oh, that scared to do it me again, when he jumped like that. Yeah, a little too fast for uh. Okay. Yeah, he has to use it now. Yeah, and this Wish Punish. Dead. Yes. Really? No, oh, please stop jumping. Oh, oh, oh my god. He did it again. He did it again. Please don't do it again. Oh, I have, Why are you jumping? No, I have a wife. You can't do it Why like this. Why are you jumping? He still gets the round anyway, but oh my wow. god. Just let him jump. Wow. ASK, he would have died. Two opportunities there for sure. He had enough opportunity to the point where he could have continued playing yeah. in this yeah. finals. But, yeah. You know, three I mean, games for a Wish Punish, and we're going to go right to Grand Finals. Yeah, and to be fair, I mean, obviously, when you're in the moment, you know, you may not even be considering yeah. the option. It's yeah. really difficult sometimes, especially when you're behind, right? Like, mm. you're, you're trying it, to think of, like, all the other stuff that yes. you want to do. In the heat of the match, there are some moments where you just completely forget yeah. that having a, a jump or, like, your opponent jumping when you're in full rage, full rage, that means full almost certain Like, death. that's guaranteed death yeah. on an Eason hit. Nearly um, guaranteed death. I um, promise you that when he goes back to watch this, he's going to sit there yeah. and be like, what was I doing? What was I doing? <laughs> like, yeah. What in the world was going on? What the hell was I thinking? Yeah. But, you know, congratulations to Wisp Punish. Absolutely. And, gonna be and a, well earned. I mean, well yeah, earned, yes. yeah. He uh, played that matchup extremely well. Yeah, and his Jubei has been making some really great uh, adjustments and has also been growing quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I think sticking to a character, he had a little bit where he was uh, having a character crisis. Okay. He went Charlotte yeah. to Yoshitora to oh, Jubei speaking right of. now. Uh, well, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so this is a run back. Yes, it is a run back. Maybe yeah. he didn't like what he saw with the Jubei matchup. Yeah, I think maybe he thinks the Jubei matchup is a little tough. Um, I don't have personal experience to kind of necessarily yeah. say, but I, I do think Nakaruru can stuff a lot of Jubei's attempts to stuff her, right? Yeah. Like we said before in the match, yeah. uh, Nakaruru wants to get in your face. Yeah. yeah. She wants the pressure to be hers the entire match. Yeah. And it's just finding a way to kind of stuff that. And right side showing right away that Charlotte's projectile means yeah. nothing to her. Nice bait. And yeah, nice bait. Charlotte's heavy DP is the only one that has invincibility. Yep. So, I mean, waking up with it, trying to catch, you know, an attempt at meeting is yeah. pretty much what you want to try to do. But Whoa. at the same time, it could get stuffed out. And look at the speed that Bright Side's playing at. He's not uh, even giving Witch Punish a chance to set yeah. up with Charlotte at Utilizing all. Utilizing Naka Nakaru's, like, fantastic movement speed. Yes. From her jump to her back dash yeah. to, like, almost all of her special moves as well. On top of the universal walk speed buff, right? Oh, so, yes. like, she's all over the place now. She's all over the place. She's, like, 
poking you, and it doesn't even matter that she's getting big damage off of one interaction. She can just poke you for the entire match, and that could mean death for you. Absolutely. And I want to keep track of how many attempts that Wish Punish gets at actually using JC yeah. with Charlotte. Because yeah. right now, Brightside is staying at distances and doing things that completely prevent yes. them from even trying the JC yeah. mix-up. One of the best tools for Charlotte is her JC, yeah. and I think... That's what Brightside wants to not happen. Yes. He does not want Charlotte to jump in with JC because that triangle is really just going to hit you. Yeah. Especially yep. on cross-up. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, cross -up. Cross -up. it's a mix, yeah. and you have to guess with it. Yep. And look, he, he's keeping the distance. Only he when is, he gets yeah. a full knockdown is he going to run in and pressure. Yeah. Um, and he is kind of running in. Uh, Brightside is kind of running in with that run K, right? Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's really, really good. It's super um, good. Ooh, nice little poke there from Charlotte. Just gonna, yep, get it out yeah. of here. It, that and move really just does stuff fireballs, especially Charlotte's fireballs, where it moves really slow. It does, and Nakaru's reflect comes out so fast. It's yes. just like, nope, oh, not God. gonna deal with it. Almost that. immediately, right? Oh, yeah. This, uh, pretty even right now, I'd say. Um, both trying to keep each other out. And there's the one the JC, he finally yeah, gets one, nice and look JC. how much he gets off of it. Yeah. That grab in the corner is gonna do well, but depends. Yeah, he just neutral wakes up. You really can't let him pick up that mm, weapon like that. That was, yeah. Especially if it means going coast to coast. And that might change the momentum of the round. Absolutely. I mean. Oh, the deflect. You had to. Absolutely. Absolutely. He was dead to. otherwise. Yeah, respect it. Don't let him. Don't. Okay. There's another JC. He has a lot of rage right now. And uh, slowly. That what is. What a deflect. Turn that. Right side. Yes. Uh. I'm That's sorry. It. Wow, yeah. I, oh my god. <laughs> it was a good call yeah, out. I mean, uh, he so really he hit him with the out. deflect before and forced the burst. And yes. then he the fact that he went for a deflect while burst was going mm -hmm. is pretty pretty strong. <laughs> yes. Uh and that's something you have to look out for, right? If your opponent has burst and you're deflecting and you really do want to go into super special move because yes. that's like 80%. Yeah. Uh it's pretty much your <laughs> round. <laughs> it's your round. But if your opponent bursts, yep. then that is a super special move oh, gone for you. And way. also maybe a punish. Yes. Depending on yeah, depending on what's happening. Yeah. Um, but um, Brightside didn't immediately SSM on the first one because he was like, look, no. my opponent has burst. I'm gonna see what they do. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. Uh, uh, going back to character select. Um, I think he picked Juve. Could be wrong. We'll see. Uh, we'll uh, see. The yes. Charlotte didn't win him any points, no. for sure. Uh, and Brightside is going to comfortably stick with oh, Akaru. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, if it's getting your opponent you know, frustrated, he then did switch why back not? to Jubei. Back yeah. to Jubei. Yeah. Okay. I think he did have a little more success with Jubei when we saw him. Um, but I think he thought maybe Charlotte has. Look, anytime some... I'm playing Charlotte and I only get to use JC twice in a whole game, yeah. something's going wrong. Something's wrong. It's either I'm not utilizing my uh, opportunities to get in or the other post person is stuffing me to the point where I need to switch character. Absolutely. So back to Jubei we go. Um, starting off a little slow. He's going to set up the fireball game again, yeah. but like I said before, Mama Haha ha is just a better projectile right now. Yeah. Uh, Jubei's fireball it really does suffer. I think a lot of other fireballs are better. Uh, even Charlotte's, right? Um, it's so big and has that big hitbox. Yes. And Jubei's... Oh, back oh. dash on the throw attempt yeah. and the punish. Really great back dash. God. Almost, yeah, he jumped back to catch the forward roll. That yep. was really great. Aha, uh -huh, no punish on the whiff there. Oh, and there it is. Yeah. Overhead. Oh, great grab. Big yeah, DP C there. Yeah, C version, great. Yeah, push him in the corner too. Ooh, caught him whiffing. Yeah, caught him whiffing. Uh, I think Brightside really is seeing that Wish Punish does like to jump quite a bit. Yes. Uh, and it's... Speaking of... Speaking of... He just ran stuff. up and waited for the jump. Yeah, like, wow. Like, you just said it. I mean, he just said, I know you're going to neutral jump here, and look, I have the life lead now, yeah. and you only have, like, 40%. And life. you have no weapon. Yeah, and you have no weapon. Oh, yeah. And he's just backing up into the corner now. He's what are you going to do? Up. He's going to throw the bird at you, and yes. you're going to have to come to him. This is the best scenario if you knock the other person's weapon out of their hands. You want to get to the other side of the screen to where the weapon is off the screen, yep. and they have no chance to get it. Yeah. That means you for you're forcing them to play without a weapon, yeah. which is essential for you to play. Yeah. I mean... Semi showdown without a weapon is is not a fighting game for no. whoever doesn't have uh, a weapon. No. It's a survival horror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some characters handle it a little better. Yeah. Like how Amaro used to handle it pretty yeah, well. Yeah. Um, but Hanzo does actually pretty well. Hanzo does. Hanzo. Ugh. 
Hanzo does. Uh, I think Galford does as well. Yeah. Um, interesting that he's out of the corner now. Okay, yeah. he's n actually not doing terrible. No, he's not. And I think we saw this before that he was doing better than I thought he would. Yeah. 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 The I, problem is, like, I yeah. mean, Brightside had so much health that he yes. could afford to take his, all those unarmed hits. Mm -hmm. and Just an unfortunate scenario. Yep. I mean, if you lose your weapon, that's a, a hill to climb, especially with a big life lead. It is. Yeah. It is uh, extremely scary. Brightside looking as dominant as ever. Now, he, and it's, this is hard, but he didn't go for any weapon catches as well. No, so. and that's something, that is a tool you should be utilizing, especially if you don't have your weapons. Yeah. Um, but that also means timing it perfectly. That's what I'm saying. Like, and it's on whiff, it's counter hit now. So yeah, uh, it's a huge gamble. Yeah, if you, it's... <laughs> High risk, sometimes <laughs> high reward, yeah. sometimes low reward. How much are you willing to yeah. risk to gamble? Yeah, how much are you willing <laughs> to try and catch it and then get punished for it? Yeah. yeah. All right, I mean, bright side. Bright side really just putting it in the corner once again. Back uh, to work. Run up throw is going to work. Something I noticed from bright side is that when he has the knockdown, he kind of backs off to see if he yeah. forward rolls. Yeah. Um, and I do think that's a good... Uh, strategy to use, right? Yes. There are three different recovery options in this game. Neutral recovery, back recovery, and forward recovery. In the corner, it's going to be either neutral recovery or forward recovery. Yes. So seeing him trying to bait out either one of those um, is a really good strategy, but All as right, I was saying, Wish Punish with the chance Wish to take the round. putting him right in the corner. All the way to the other side of the screen. Caught him low again. Yeah, that low. It wasn't blocking low, and Wish Punish is going to take that first round. Let's see if we can come back here. Yeah. Hopefully reset. Maybe he's seeing things a little Ooh, bit different. Nice, nice jump air. back B, Wish yeah. Punish is great with air to air. Absolutely. Yeah. Throwing out those fireballs. Ooh, nice block there. Yeah. Gets the punish. No. Oh, no. Maybe a missed input. Missed I think input. he wanted yeah. DP there. He did want DP. Um, and that heavy fireball is just going to be really punishable, too. Um, let's see if he is able to pick up his weapon, because this is the second time we've seen him without it. Goes right for it. Yeah, he likes to go for that, too. Yeah. He really wants this weapon back. I mean, I can't blame him here. Can't blame him. Brightside with a massive life lead. Once again, does he catch the back dash? No. No, and that's not really going to be a punish, especially with the pushback. Nice throw there. Yeah, it goes for DP. Yes. See DP again just to get that damage off throw. Throw, scri throw scales a lot. It sca right? massively scales. Massively scales. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. If you throw weapon flipping, throw e um, throw special move, it's going to yeah. scale. And it may not be as much damage, but I'm wondering if Wish Punish, when he gets those throws, instead of going for the heavy DP, goes for a lighter version so he yeah. has more Oki time. Yeah. Right? Or, or, or at least place Nakaruru closer to him. Because when he uses the heavy DP off of the throw, mm -hmm. he's back to full screen again. Yeah. Um, and I think right now, full screen has just been more in Brightside's favor than yes. Wish Punish. Um, seeing jump a little too much. Especially when he's in the corner, you see him neutral jump almost every time. Yes. Jumping out of the corner. Oh, great just defense. But no punish there. Significant life lead from Wish Punish. Great nice. jump back. I caught him reaching. No, he great didn't. Great back dash once again. We saw that in the first game that they yeah. played. Oh. Oh, God. All right, Wish, Wish Punish is strong great life lead right lead, now. But everything can change in a single moment. Oh, he has wow, to full commanding rage. burst. This is not gonna he oh, oh my god, oh my god, it's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill, but oh my god. All like right. I said, in a moment things yeah. can change. Yeah. Alright, which one is oh. still at advantage? Definitely. Still at advantage. Throw out fireballs. You wanna play the full game and Nakaru has to just defend. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and there, which one is taking a game. Hard earned game. Yeah, there. very much a hard earned game, yeah. Uh, looks really harrowing and you know, if you let Nakaru come back fully then that would mean yeah. right side wins the entire that, tournament. Yeah, that was that was tournament point for right side. So kudos to Wish Punish oh for digging God, in there. Yeah. I cannot out. believe we saw that near full rage yes. East End. Dude, 60%. Mamahaha full screen. Got to block that. Nice, Ooh, jump, nice jump over, over it. Jumped over the fireball, but not really in range to kind of yeah. do a full punish. Yeah, and I mean, it just goes to what you said. Like, full screen is bright side's territory at the moment. Yeah, uh, Nakaru really has some great tools. Throwing him back in the corner. I like it. What's the Oki situation? Knocked Does down. he just back up? Yeah. Yeah, it gets back up. I think he knows that bright side's going to back off and try to catch the forward recovery. Yeah, yeah. Looking pretty good for Brightside but right now. But honestly, Brightside jumping back like that on, on Wish Punish's wake up yeah. isn't a terrible thing, right? No, because what no. does he lose if he if nothing Not happens? Not a lot, no. Yeah. 
I mean, you do lose the pressure, but at the same time, with how good Nakaru's uh, speed in general is, yeah. she can get back into the corner and pressure you all the same. Absolutely. Mm. Okay, little pokes here. Throwing out that medium flash. Try to jump over Mama Haha and like poke a little bit, but just Ooh, far enough. Good. Yeah. Neutral jump on the throw attempt. Neutral jump, and he didn't really jump in with a button because that means you kind of reset them out of the increased uh, increased recovery time yes. that every single grab has. Yep. Yep. Great. I, I, wow. Okay. Wish punish uh, yes, taking taking, that first round. Taking the first round. No whiff punish from wish punish. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had, had to. to. Once, I you got to do it once a match. It, yeah, it's, yeah. It's he came necessary. this far, I had to. <laughs> All right. Which Leaving one him in the corner now. Oh. Ooh, I think he dashed forward. Yeah. yeah. Catching him. That's going to do a good grip. And with the speed of her WFT, that's yeah. a, that's what can happen, oh, right? Yeah. Great neutral jump. He hit him with the kick and was able to pick his weapon back up. Not bad at all, but the life lead, once again, is... Yeah. Heavily in bright side's favor. Gotta see which punish makes something happen to come back. Nice he recoil does have punish. Opportunities to win punish run K, but uh, just not a lot. You could probably poke him out to try and deter them from doing it again. Yeah. Or yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't that know. Air to air, just completely Nakaru's favor, even though Jubei did more damage on the air there. I mean, the life lead gave Brightside the the, yeah. the opportunity to gamble. There. Oh, absolutely. All right, tournament point Great once again for Brightside. Here. Hitting them low That's, almost every that time. That running K is just so good. It's real good, good. yeah. It's Punish full. on the whiff. God. And that carries you right to the corner. Yep. Like, it's full corner carry. He's trying to avoid the bird. Yeah, good that reflect, reflect there. on the fireball. Oh, hitting him low again. Which kind of... I, I, I really think he might burst here soon, especially with how he's getting chipped out a little bit. Yeah. There. He might want to try to spin some rage before too. bursting. Yeah. Nice oh, grab. didn't go for the WFT. No. Okay. Yeah, he has yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Brightside knows, yeah. Brightside knows which punish really wants this decent. And this is, I mean, his weapon's gone now. Nearly dead. Wasn't going to kill yet, but... Oh! Pick it up! He gets it! He's still got rage! He can win the oh, round! Oh, God! And Brightside, Brightside calling out the dash. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to Brightside for winning Samurai yeah, Showdown. Brightside is our winner for Samurai Showdown. At Super Saturdays, congratulations to him. Congratulations. Um, played extremely well. Yes. And, uh, you know, played I, really, really well. You can't complain when you see somebody. No. I mean, he takes it twice in a row now, but yeah, both yeah. I mean, it was pre patched before, right? Yeah, so, and he, uh, he also went to uh, Ignite on Monday, yeah. watched the nine people that were there, <laughs> yeah. and guess what? He didn't lose a single game. Wow. wow. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for Samurai it. Showdown. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Yep. We're going to um, take a short break. Dragon Ball's coming up. Thank you guys so much for anywhere. tuning in. Yeah. I've had a great time. I've been Dynamite. I've been Jollyphobic. And thank stay you tuned, guys. guys. So much. Have a good one.